morning and welcome to Sweaty Laney because I just did some cardio. I haven't washed my hair in four days. I feel pretty gross. Today is the 17th of October. We have one month until we're meant to move house and we still haven't found a house, but I thought I would just go through today with you. I've been up since about 9 a.m. Lex hasn't been home last night because his granddad was taken into hospital. He was a bit unwell, he's quite elderly, but he's doing fine now and Lex is hopefully gonna get back later this morning. And right now I'm just having breakfast. So this is my standard breakfast at the moment. I love it. It is a Warburton's protein bagel thing and they have really good macros. It has some smoked salmon, some capers, and some scrambled egg white with cheese. And I just put a little bit of the lightest Philadelphia on it. I've been really shit for vlogging because I just feel like I don't want to be really negative on my channel and give out those negative vibes and then e-feed off it. So I just want to be positive and I'm feeling a lot more positive today. We are getting very frustrated with our house hunt. We'll find a house and then it just has really bad broadband. Given what we do for a living, we can't survive with really poor broadband. And we've looked into every option. We've looked into satellite broadband, but they're all capped. So you don't get a very good amount. Then we've looked at radio signals, everything because we did find the perfect house, but c'est la vie, we are still searching. Hopefully we will find a house really soon because we have literally a month and we're gonna be away for eight days when I bring Lex on a surprise trip. I just finished my breakfast and now I'm gonna go and have a shower. I just wanted to take you through some of the things that I did yesterday. I did some meal prep because when I'm stressed out, my diet definitely suffers. I either under eat or over eat and everything in between, I'm just, useless with my food. I'm a really emotional eater so sometimes my appetite completely goes when I'm stressed out and other times I just binge it and just feel sorry for myself. But I did some of my chocolate mousses that are up on my recipe channel and they're just really simple. I actually added in an extra sachet of the cocoa powder and that really made it extra chocolatey. I also have the fridge full of prep food so I've no excuse for falling off the wagon this week. I have some of Lex's crumble made, I have some soup, healthy soup made and then there's some chicken, some sweet potato and also some healthy heck sausages all from Muscle Food for Lex to get home. His granddad has been put into a room in the hospital so all is looking good now. He's on the mend and I'm going to enjoy one of my chocolate mousses. I'm going to shower, wash the hair, make myself feel better, put on some makeup because when you look better you just feel better inside so if you're ever having a down day just like go shower, do your hair, do your makeup if you're a guy and you're into that. Also do your makeup. And then once Lex gets home, I'm gonna go and train with him. And then we're just gonna chill out and do some more house hunting online because that is my life right now. I'm all showered, I have my makeup done, my hair is all clean, I'm feeling like a million times better. And that is just proof that when you look good on the outside, you feel good on the inside. And that's why we go to the gym, that's why we eat healthy, because it just makes us feel better. Over the past couple of months, I've found that when I'm ovulating, I get really bloated, like super bloated. I retain loads of water. I get really bad tummy cramps. And I couldn't understand it because it wasn't PMT. It wasn't near my period. And then I looked at it over a couple of months and it was the same time about two weeks before I got my period. So I just want to show you a quick physique update. I'm a little bit bloated. As I said last night, I had really bad cramps all down my side. I feel quite tired and cranky around this time as well. So I'm obviously a dream wife right now. I want to do a quick physique update because I want to show that I am imperfect all year round. On social media it's often portrayed that women should have these perfect flawless bodies, no cellulite and I've always said on my channel and on my Instagram that I'm not perfect and that I want people to be confident in their body regardless of their cellulite and their stretch marks and if they have some fat, if they're too skinny, if they've got bones sticking out, they've got bruises. It's all normal and natural to not have a perfect physique and today I just want to again just reiterate that because it's so important to me because it's helped me get over my own insecurities realising that everyone is not perfect.
having a coffee that is made with this coconut almond milk and then one of these high protein chocolate chip cookies yeah and he's back eating ginger biscuits it's 6 30 p.m and we are just getting ready to go to the gym so say unleash the hounds uh, oh. lovely <laughs> lovely arm session for me what are you training lexi boxing he's training boxing boxing and bitch boy pump workout yeah, and he's gonna record some of the workout for me. Yay! Oh, you're gonna record some for me? Yay! Yay! It's like we're in a scary movie. Don't ever touch a white man's radio. It's like we're in a scary movie. In the gym, about to do my workout, I convinced Lex to come too. He was feeling a bit tired and he kept him falling asleep on the sofa because he hasn't got any sleep. But I convinced him to come in, just do a workout and make him feel far better. And he's going to record some of my upper body workout. I'm going to do biceps and triceps. That's what I usually do at the start of the week. Today is Tuesday. I took a rest day yesterday, so this is my first workout of the week.
gym and we are having a selection of heated up prepped food so I've got my chicken I've got my sweet potato and some hex sausages and I'm going to have it with my new addiction oh, it's so good the barbecue sauce from Blembros and it's like practically yeah for a hundred ml and like the whole bottle is 250 it's 5.7 grams of carbs it's incredible I don't know how they do it it's really good though so I'll be having this haven't really had much micronutrients today, so I might blend up a shake afterwards. Keep you posted. So I've decided to opt out of having a smoothie. I'm not really that hungry, to be honest, and I'm still on my intuitive eating kick, so I only eat when I'm hungry. So it doesn't really matter what my macros are right now because I am full. But I am after making Lex some dessert because he's quite tired and I like to spoil him a bit. So, he's having some of my rhubarb crumble, which is also on my recipe channel, but it has some berries in it as well. And then I've added some carrot door light vanilla on top. What are you two skulking about? You're invisible, Rox. You've practically camouflaged into the ground. Silly billies.